lovelies, we are here today with a mod review. I love mods so much. They're so much fun. They bring so much to the game. We have so many amazing, just absolutely amazing mod creators out there. And I would like to highlight some of them in this new series that I'm doing. So we have here a Sim that I have made. She's very, very pink. I made her several days ago and I wasn't actually planning on using her for this mod review. It was just a Sim I felt like making. And that's actually the the same with this one as well so I just made them related mother and daughter for now but we will be going through the mod with this character this is a teen the mod that we will be using is the preteen mod now I admit I have not messed with this mod quite that much I got it right before the massive update hit for the high school years and I ended up taking out a lot of my mods around that time because there was just a lot of issues a lot of broken mods and I have now since put it a lot of my mods all of them are back in but this one I have not played with so I thought it would be fun to take out almost every single mod in my game except this one so the only mods I have for this review is just the preteen mod like the five column mod UI cheats just things like that things that just help improve gameplay. And then I have my CC, of course. But this is the mod that we will be looking at today, the preteen mod. It is made by a deep indigo. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. I am not sure. I am so sorry if I have not. The original mod was made by It's Katato, which I also hope I am not butchering the name of that. But if I recall correctly, that creator has given it over to a deep indigo for them to continue continue the updates. But here on the website, it says, Welcome to being a preteen. For the next couple of years, you're going to be experiencing some changes. Don't worry, it's completely natural. You'll do just fine. Now introducing my Sims 4 preteen mod. First of all, the teens in this game look too grown. Sims go from a little kid to looking like they pay taxes. So that's why I created this mod to give us a good in-between phase. How does it work? When a child ages up into a teenager, they get the preteen trait and are automatically made shorter than adults. Preteens go through phases more often than children and teens and the phases happen pretty quickly. They can also experience voice cracks. Simple hygiene system. I added a basic hygiene system to the game, which is available to all Sims. If you click on your Sim, you will have the option to apply lotion, body spray, and deodorant. Use the lotion after your Sims gets out of the shower or they will have dry skin. The body spray gives your Sim a confidence boost, but watch out, if you spray too much, they'll get dizzy. The deodorant slows down hygiene decay and your Sim smelling nice and fresh. The middle school acts exactly like the grade school and high school that's in the game. In the school focus pack for this mod, I'll be adding some cool features for middle school, but for now, it's pretty basic. Middle schoolers do get their own homework book, so make sure to use it. So it looks like if I want my girl, here, my new teen to be a preteen, I will have to go into the game and then we can assign her the preteen trait. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and go into the game. I'm gonna try this mod out. I'm so excited for it. Like I said, I have only very, very briefly played with this mod. So I'm really excited to see how it's all gonna go. We're gonna start in fall. Let's go to Windenburg. Okay, so I just got this house off the gallery. Look how pretty it is. It uses the rounded walls. And I think this is actually the first time I've really seen the rounded walls in my game. These are very nice. Perfect teenage room. So it said the first thing that we should do is give her the preteen trait. So we have a new category here. We're going to click it. Settings. Add the preteen trait. Welcome, Ruby Pink, to being a preteen. For the next couple of years, you're going to be experiencing some changes. Don't worry, Ruby. It's completely natural. You'll do just fine. Oh my gosh, she immediately shrunk 
<laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, she's so much shorter now. Okay, wow. Okay, it did put her in middle school. Now, there were two options for this mod. One was for her to be able to attend high school, and the other one was for her to go off to a rabbit hole school. I actually chose for the rabbit hole school. I kind of wanted to keep the attending the actual physical high school for just the older teens. If you want the other version though, it is there. So you can go to school with your preteens. Middle school students, C's get degrees, but you're in middle school. So get to work and raise those grades. So we have apply body spray. We're gonna do that see what that looks like. So she's spraying it all on. That's nice. Oh wait, she's dizzy. She is now confident. Cough, cough. I think I sprayed a little too much body spray. Well, I still smell good, right? Oh, it made her dizzy because she used too much of it. That is awesome. And as you can see, she is quite a bit shorter from her mom. That is very nice. I love that. So we have a few more options. We have applied deodorant. This deodorant helps to keep your underarms smelling fresh. Nice and fresh. No one can say I smell now. And we have apply lotion. So, so far those are the only options we have while clicking on her, but it sounds like things will change as she gets older. And the welcome wagon is here. We'll go ahead and invite them in just to see if there's like any different type of interactions or anything. This house is just so adorable. I love it. So bringing up Ruby's inventory, she has homework and middle school homework. So she has the homework from when she was a teen, but then I added the preteen trait. So she is not able to do her middle school homework yet, but it's probably because she has not actually had her first day at school. It is 11 in the morning right now, so she'll be able to do it after. So I am under the preteen settings. For the current settings, the preteen age span is seven. Enable aging is true. The chance of dry skin chant and a startup notification. And you can change all of these, which is really nice. Like I would like to change my startup notification. This setting toggles the startup notification for the preteen mod. Default option is true. Setting to false turns off the startup. I don't need to know that I have it installed because I, I, I put it in. <laughs> so I know that. So I'm gonna turn that off. That's nice. I wish more mods would enable you to turn that off. So you're not just bombarded by all these notifications the moment you enter the game. And you can change the preteen age span here. This setting modifies the length of the preteen age span. I like this a lot. This setting turns off aging for preteens. Default option is true. Set to false if you want to play with aging off. We don't want that. We, we like them to age. And the dry skin chance. This setting changes the chance of your sim getting dry skin. For example, set it to zero to disable the chance of getting it. Set to 100 to always have dry skin when they get out of the shower. This is nice. I like having options in my mods. I really, really enjoy that. So you can customize this really to however you want to play it. So even though Ruby is now shorter because of the mod, almost all the animations are working just fine. There's really no glitches that I have seen so far from having her be shorter than all of the adults in the game. However, the only thing is, is her icon is down here. And as you can see, it's just her little eyes peeping up from the icon. I think it's kind of cute and it doesn't really impact the gameplay really at all. So I don't mind that, but that is a thing to be aware of if you do install, it's not just the preteen mod actually, if you install any form of a hype mod, this is what's going to happen to your icons. It's just this game wasn't made with the idea of having different heights involved. So when you put them in, you can get certain things like this, like the little eyes just kind of popping up instead of seeing the full face. And some of the animations might be just a hint off, but you know, it's not that many animations for the most part. It works like just fine. Like I don't notice that many issues. <laughs> 
Here, see like her little eyes popping up right here. Apparently, Ruby likes fitness, so we're gonna hit yes. But all the animations I've seen so far work just fine. There's no glitches, there's no errors because of her having a different height. Instead, it just looks nice. It's nice to see a shorter teen in the game. It's nice to see different heights in the game. And I really wish that EA had put this in the game from the very beginning because I really feel like it does add a lot of flavor to the game. And you know, maybe one day they will add a pre-teen life state. If not in The Sims 4, then maybe in The Sims Five. Ruby has just woken up to get ready for school. She's a little early. It's four in the morning, but she has a growing out of control icon. Ruby woke up to even worse acne. At this rate, her face is going to become a landscape of pus and pockets. Now, I think that is actually from high school years. So we're going to apply some facial cleanser and we'll try to conceal some acne. And it says here that she has dry skin. In. Oops, looks like I forgot to put on lotion. Well, it doesn't matter unless someone notices, right? So she now has dry skin. This is from the preteen mod. So we're gonna click on Ruby and apply some lotion. Help with that dry skin. I am loving this mod so far. I just love realism play in my game. I like to play with like cartoony looking characters a lot, as you can probably tell, but I love to have a bit of realism in my game. So having to apply lotion, the preteen stage, it fits perfectly in with my game style. And let's just take a moment to appreciate how pretty Ruby is. Oh my gosh, I just wanted to make like an all pink sim. Gonna have her apply some deodorant before she goes to school. She'll be going to middle school for the first time. Like I said though, if you want them to go to active school, there is a version of that mod that you can put in that will allow you to do that. Okay, and Ruby is now headed to school. Ruby tried to skip out on a class today to comfort a crying friend. What should we tell her? Don't skip class education is vital. This I think is new because I've never seen this before. So I think this is actually part of the preteen mod, which is nice. So that means that there are new teachable moments with this mod, which has been sorely lacking from the parenthood pack for a while. So that is nice to see. I'm so excited for that. Ruby has returned home with a school project. Completing this project will grant school progress. Additional progress will be awarded if the project is completed quickly. So they still get projects, which is good. Voice crack from puberty. OMG, that was totally embarrassing. I hope no one noticed. Oh, and she has the insecure mood. An insecure sim is having a moment of struggle with self-image, confidence, and esteem. Oh, no. Oh, that is such a nice feature. I love that. Oh, yeah, you could tell really good stories with this mod. I love it. No, oh, she's so sad and insecure. It's okay, Ruby. It happens to every everybody. Aww. But yeah, that was an overview of the preteen mod. I love this mod. The creator of it did such a good job with it. There's so many little details all throughout and I'm sure there's a lot more that I haven't actually seen. This was just from playing one sim day with this mod and it was fantastic. I just love the little bits of stories that you can tell with it. I like how it shrinks their height a lot. I like the lotion and the voice cracking and it's just a really well done mod. I really appreciate this. I will be implementing this mod pretty much in all of my LPs for now on because this is just amazing. But let me know down below if you have been using this mod, what you think of it. And if you'd like to get it, I will be posting a link down below so you know where to go get it. And if you have any other mods that you love to play with that you just could not play the game without, let me know down below and I'll go check them out. But that is a wrap for this episode. And I hope all of you are having a lovely, lovely day. And I'll see you guys in the next next one. Bye guys.